Hi, I'm Veli from Greenwood Solutions and today we'll be talking about commercial solar project management. The principles we talk about today will apply to other projects that you may be involved in, but I'm going to focus on the specifics of, of commercial solar. So let's get stuck into it. So we're going to talk about what is project management and we're also going to talk about the RACI approach. So what is project management? It is the initiating, planning and execution of a project. Project has a start, it has a middle and it has a finish, almost like a book. The primary objective of project management is to achieve all the specific goals within a set time. Compared to a domestic project, commercial projects take longer, there's more people involved, there's more money involved, and there's more complexity involved. Now there's many approaches to project management and there's many programs you can buy and many ways of doing it. I tend to use the RACI approach. R stands for responsibility or responsible, A accountable, C consulted, and I informed. Now, there are some rules. There can only be one person who's accountable, and that's effectively, in most cases, you guys or the business owner or the person who owns the um, installation company. They can be multiple people who are responsible and they are responsible for a particular task. Now, you can be accountable and responsible at the same time. Consulted is the stakeholders involved. So the business owner who has kindly handed over his money to um, pay for this commercial solar project. It also can be neighbours, it can be the general public. So any stakeholder who has any interest whatsoever in this project. Informed is effectively the other members of your installation team who may be or may not be informed of various things that go on on site. Collect data always on all your projects. The more data you collect, the more detailed analysis you can make of that project. It's something that I can't stress enough. If you don't collect the data, how do you know you're doing a good job? How do you know whether you can improve next time? This leads to constant improvement in regards to site processes. So we'll talk about materials. Like, who's ordered the goods? Has it been approved? How are the goods coming to site? Is it one delivery? Is it two delivery? And who's documenting the process? Who's taking photos if the materials are damaged? So the list goes on. So any task you can think of, you can break down to who's involved, for how long, what's involved, who's been consulted, who's been informed, who is ultimately responsible for that task. So what about personnel? Who's organised the workers? When are they coming to site? When are the sparkies coming to site? When are the trades assistants coming to site? Who's doing what when? And has this been effectively communicated to all that all concerned? There is nothing worse than the going on site and people standing around with their hands in their pockets going, I don't know what I'm doing. So what about organising equipment? Are you hiring a scissor lift? Where's the scissor lift coming from? When's it coming? How long it's going to be on site? Who's the contact at the scissor lift company? Does the scissor lift have all terrain wheels? Case in point, long time ago, big project, scissor lift was um, ordered, came to site. Problem was this site was dirty and gravelly, didn't have all terrain tyres. Oh, no problem, we'll get another one. Guess what? All the all terrain scissor lifts were hired for the next month. What happens to the project? Who took, in, who took that into consideration? So we will assume that the job has been won, so we're looking at task responsibilities. Who's installing the feet? Who's actually getting the feet up on the roof? DC cables and isolators. Who's installing? Have the serial numbers of the DC isolators been taken? If so, how have they been recorded? And you know, is the site supervisor the head sparky? Or is the head sparky the site supervisor? It's again coming back to that RACI. Who's responsible, who's accountable, who's consulted, who's informed. A big thing on these commercial jobs is rubbish removal. 
Now on domestic, usually the rubbish goes in the back of the van, back of the ute, trailer, off it goes. Well, on these commercial jobs, we are talking pallets worth of crap. Not only do we have to remove that rubbish, we have to account for that in our, in our costs. Milestone reports. Now, these are required on the bigger projects. A milestone report might be, okay, install the feet, rail, run the DC cabling, right? That's milestone report number one. Number two might be, oh, running the tray, putting the DC cable into the tray, closing the tray, and installing the panels and checking. That's milestone report number two. So you can see it's just a process of detailing what tasks were done and when they were done and what's the ne next task gonna be. Commissioning of the system is a really big thing. So who's involved in that? Who's organised the inspector? Uh, the handover? You have to look at all those things. In conclusion, a project must have a start and finish date. Project must have milestones and stakeholders must be informed. Financial, project must be on time. Documentation, documentation, documentation. Get in the habit of listing what you do. Thanks very much for watching. If you've got any comments, please feel free to make those comments, um, suggestions, answers, and please subscribe. Thank you very much.